Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This mama. Sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? Or should, or I, should go? I go? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? <laughs> they won't. Let's go. Choose it. Oh, dang it. <laughs> no. well, let's go somewhere safe. Let's be a jerk. Close, okay? That's a good idea. I don't think I have the ability to really do that. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Then why didn't you run? What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Uh, Sean Green. Me. This is Clinton. Double Sean? <laughs> I'm Sean. Sean okay. Green. Sean, Sean Green. Open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family. She's not my home. daughter. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh, um, just some guy. Just some guy. Just some guy. Some guy. Yeah. She's alone. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I wanted to make you creepy sounding. Right. I... Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Push it, Andrew. Push it. Put I'm your back trying. into it. My back hurts. Keep her gurn. Yeah, Clementine. Do nothing. Just some guy. It seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. Dude, that fat guy would be me in the back, but I'd be screaming the whole time. <laughs> be like, <laughs> look, that was an Easter egg. When? Uh huh. Nice. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. All right, Sean, Sean Green, where are we going? Thank God you're okay. Daddy? I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. I. We uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? No. Yes. Okay, then. Well... Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. I always hate how like shocked he looks. His eyes. Take a seat up on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. Oh, Lee? No, Marcel. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, this is first season was wonky. Hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. 
What did you say your name was? Marcel. <laughs> it's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Yeah, I forgot Herschel was a different How kind of Herschel. Happen? Yeah, he's not all fat and old. He still loses his leg. <laughs> Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Huh. Let's be honest. Lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Yeah. Yourself lucky. House is Neither can I. We got another <clears throat> displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Did you say daughter again? I didn't catch your name, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think. Oh, he had a whisper it. Yet. <clears throat> he knows we're recording. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell Marcel, come on. There, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? Nothing. We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, <laughs> that'd be preferable. There's <laughs> such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. A little weird, but nice man, I guess. Yeah. Hey. It smells like. Yes. <clears throat> Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops. Plops. Just like that. <laughs> Secretly, my daughter. I miss my mom and dad. Me too. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Isn't like one of the big first uh, choices like defense, like save someone or run away? Possibly. It's like the fat dude, right? I don't know. Yeah, I do know. Hey, get up. No, it's this Ooh. dude. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? So I'm call me her daddy. Her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Oh, I hated this kid. Oh. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. <laughs> but frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I can't. It won't let me press That's the button. The girl. Sure. Won't let me press the button. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thank you. Thanks. I picked it up myself. Well, we should get to work. 
We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? <laughs> I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. Oh, that's right. Save the kid, isn't it? Cool. Duck and I will hop to it. Either um, one of those sons. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. Don't steal my kid. Or do. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. They had like time together before you interrupted their conversation, hey there, Andrew. Nah. You two actually look relaxed. You don't get time. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, she was? Um, how was that? How? <laughs> yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three oh, You had to bring it up? You just stayed quiet about it. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here. Oh, hey, I forgot, I forgot about, about that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. How specific can you be? Stay like this. Fort Lauderdale. I might know her. Wait, was it, what? No, I used to. I wasn't listening. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't hey. want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Oh, and God. We just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. That's people from Fort Lauderdale in general. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Duck went through. Nah, Duck will forget it by the morning. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Bye. Circle, 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 circle. You spin me right around. What's in here? Man, remember when like a little right. girl came out of here and like everyone was doing a firing squad, and then we saw Carol's <laughs> daughter walking out, and it turned out not to it's be Carol, or like she was a walker. In the world, <laughs> but it gets the job done. That was my favorite season hey, of all time. Kitty. Everyone hated it because it was so slow. Oh, no, I don't know. Second season was the best, in my opinion. Do you need any help? Third what season was slow. That was I the mean, prison. And taking care of that little girl. I like I like you the prison season. Doing? You got kids of your own. That one was really slow. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. <laughs> Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. <laughs> Just no, no comment about that. Just see ya. Yeah, later, man. Thank you. Seems like those two are getting along. All right, time to make a choice, Andrew. Uh, in a minute. I look at it every day. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. 
We'll lock this place up good. Sean's still cool. working on that fence. <laughs> no shoot, sure <laughs> look. Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> <clears throat> Literally three feet away from him, waves his hand like he can't see him. <laughs> that's that's a weird cut. Okay. Um. How you doing? I just want to. I just want to go up to Duck and be like Goose and slap him across the head. <laughs> Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, he does a he has a job in the future. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. With that kind of saw? Oh gosh, no. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Yeah, we'll see one. One of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Ba yeah, bash. Oh, dang it. No. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I can keep cutting. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Thanks. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. In the barn. I'm going to get stabbed by that man. <laughs> Man's gonna stab me right in the heart. Uh. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Mean. Sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Change the subject. 20 years ago, I'd still be doing this. I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Parents, parents are in Macon. Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Probably not. They're dead. Now you've got this little girl oh, yeah. to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. He was telling the truth, just not fully. Go! I'll get my gun! I don't know what is happening. 
he accidentally started the track and ran over him. Okay. No, nah, screw duck, screw duck, screw duck, screw duck. I, I don't think I've ever done that. I've always screwed duck. I, mean, I don't screw ducks, but... I've never saved Sean. Nah, screw duck. Because I'm pretty sure he saves duck anyways, so it doesn't matter. I don't know if you actually saved Doug. <laughs> I mean, Kenny. I mean, Sean. Sean. Well, I mean, looking at this, there's really no way to. But you, they do remember that you chose. I mean, he just got that. He doesn't know. Hear the kids screaming still. Me, <laughs> tried to save me. I know, son. I... <sighs> like me with my cat when we lay on the floor together. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably gonna talk about talk about Kenny. Yeah, Kenny remembered that you chose not to choose Duck. Get the fuck out of here! It's literally the same dialogue. I'm sorry. Sorry. It didn't make a difference. Is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. <laughs> it's Kenny's fault. It's nobody's I fault. Strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends aren't cowards. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. So you're not gonna lose a leg? Nah, man. That's for a Lauderdale people for you, though. <laughs> Sorry. Got that ride to make it if you want it. So nothing really changed in dialogue. Nope. I think I did play this game twice on the the tablet or the iPad. I've played it about ten times. 